Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rhonda and I love everything home decor, budget friendly home decor, uh, thrifted, uh, thrift hauls, and anything DIYs. I love taking thrifted items and giving them new life by repurposing them. Today on my channel, I've got some really cool items that I want to share from uh, my summer thrift shopping adventures with my mom. If that sounds like fun to you and you don't want to miss any of my videos, make sure you subscribe down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll know every time a video is posted. Enough of my gabbing, let's get started. Okay, so as I gathered my things together, I thought well, I had really good intentions. I thought that I would kind of group everything together into some kind of themes uh, that didn't work out. So this is gonna be a hodgepodge of items that I've come across this summer. Gonna start with um, some spring summer type items. I found this super cute um, spindle, spindle handle, little box crate. Um, it'd be great as is. I don't care for the colors, so I think I'm probably gonna paint it up. I might even um, make the sides solid, take these two with pieces off, um, be super cute with some um, milk bottles in them, use those for vases. I really like it, um, but I think I need to do some stuff to it. So I'm gonna not repurpose it. I'll probably use it for what it's intended to be, but just kind of gonna put uh, my spin on it, maybe. Yeah, so, all right. Uh, next, another cute item that's kind of spring and summer. This I found at a Goodwill um, and a town over from my house. I'm trying not to hold it up so there's a glare on it. But anyway, it's an adorable little, I, I guess you'd call it like a terrarium, like a little mini greenhouse. And this latch comes down and it opens up. You can write anything on it. It's chalkboard up here. Um, I've already had a couple of things in it, like some little faux potted plants that look really cute. But can you imagine um, in the winter time, putting some either faux plants inside, some little mini Christmas trees. Um, you could just create um, a winter scene as well. So I think this is super cute. Probably not gonna do a lot to it. I just like it as is, just needs a good cleaning. Next, one of my all time favorite finds is this coffee mug holder. I get these, I pick them up every time I see one because first, they're super inexpensive. I paid, I don't know what I paid for it, probably a dollar for it. Um, anyway, super good condition, it's sturdy, it's solid. I will paint this, I will probably paint it with some white chalk paint and distress it, that's my best seller. Um, but anyway, anytime you find a coffee mug stand, grab it because you can usually get it so inexpensive and there's so many different things you can do with it. Um, next, I found this really cool, um, like an office sort of organization basket. It's probably good for mail, for files. I don't care for the finish though. It looks like it came I mean, it's not handmade, it came from a store, but it's kind of got a dirty finish to it. I don't really like it that much. So I think I'm gonna fix it up. I'm gonna, probably gonna paint it white. Still might distress, distress it a little bit, but I don't know. And I'm not sure about this. I think this might come off unless I can maybe put, you know, maybe decide what to put on it. It's definitely gonna get a little, a touch up on it because I don't care for the way it is. Uh, next. Um, I love when I can find some things that I can put to use in the shop. And this particular item is not going to be sold. It is going to be something that I use in the shop. And it's probably so big that I'm not going to be able to get it in the screen all at once. So if I had to make my, if I had to have a guess, I would say that it was probably a spice rack. You can kind of see the, um, the depth of each shelf. They're all the same. Um, that's my best guess. Um, what do you think I'm going to use it for? Out in the shop? That's right. I'm going to put paint in it. It's the perfect size to hold my craft paints. And so it's going to get probably painted black. It's like a, um, a burnt metal right now, like an antique, maybe bronze or something. But it's going to get painted black so it can match the other items at the shop. And it's going to be perfect for holding those small bottles of craft paint. 
Now this next item, no one's gonna get excited about, but I was thrilled when I found it. This adorable wooden sled is probably, I don't know, maybe 16, 18 inches long. I don't know who the Wall family is, but whoever you are, wherever you are, um, I love your sled. I'm going to um, make it maybe for the Jenkins family this winter. Um, I think it's adorable. I'll take this rope off and put something, put something new on it. Um, definitely give it a paint job. And when I do, I'll for sure share it with you guys. But um, super cute. I think maybe I paid $2.99 for it at a Goodwill. So it's great. And this next item, I am going to sell in the shop because I get so many requests for items of this color. I'm um, not sure if, if you'll be able to tell, but it is a riser and it is already distressed. I mean, I don't know where it came from. It doesn't have any stickers on the bottom, but I'm not sure where it came from, but it is the perfect teal blue with some brown distressing. I love it. I'm not gonna touch this. It is ready to go right now. It's perfect, and I already know who I'm going to call and, and share with, with them that I have it because I know exactly someone who will want it. Next, you won't get excited at all about this, but I was. A 99 cents lampshade in perfect condition. Now, I'm not going to leave it like this. You know I'm not. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to either wrap... Um, probably some burlap, some very light burlap. And then I'm gonna take and do a painting technique on it that makes it look like um, a vintage flower sack. We'll put some grain sack stripes on it. I've seen these on Pinterest and love them. So for 99 cents, I'm gonna have this amazing uh, new lampshade and I can't wait and I'll share it with you too. I, I think I'll probably take you guys along when I actually create the lampshade. That'll be a cool, that'll be a cool video. So we'll do that. Um, next, oh my goodness. I almost squealed in the store when I found this. This is on a Lazy Susan. It is a, obviously not an antique, but it is a, like a replica of the bin that you would find in the hardware stores that would have screws and nuts and bolts. I have already put this to use in the shop and I keep my wood beads for my um, beaded garland. I keep all tiny things, just lots of tiny things in here. And I paid $3.99 for this and it is in perfect condition. I had to bring it home, give it a little bath, but other than that, it was great. So I was super excited about that. Okay, so the next items are gonna be smaller items, but still awesome, still awesome. So let me get those. Okay, so the first thing that I found is this amazing, it looks like a birdcage. Um, it's going to be a cloche for me. I'm going to use it as a cloche instead of a birdcage. It is going to get a paint job, probably black um, or white with some black distressing, but I love it. It's metal and I'm going to use it. I'm not on this riser, but I'll show you. I'll kind of give you that idea. I'm going to use it on on a base, a wooden base like this, and make it a cloche. So kind of use your imagination. Some black on that, it'll be really pretty. So I'm excited about that. All right. You know that I'm the queen. If you see behind me on my shelf, I have tons of risers. I'm the queen probably of making risers. And that is, I should put that on my business card. Queen of making risers. That has a ring to it. Anyway, I digress. Um, got this cute wooden base. It was probably um, probably a cheese stand. You know, probably had a little cloche top with it. A dollar ninety nine for that, and I will probably put legs on it because there aren't any now. Looks like there might have been, but I'll put legs on it and give it a little paint job, make it spiffy. Um, I might. I don't know. I'll leave it. I'll either put little legs on it or. I will add a base to it. Now this, I paid a dollar for it, solid wood. It is in perfect condition as is, it needs a little cleaning. Um, but I'm probably gonna give it a paint job, but I love 
creating my own risers. Wouldn't that be awesome together? Well, they kind of look good together. I think I'll do that. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what else. Lots of little stuff, but littles, um, things that do really well for me and, and my shop are things that are small, nothing gigantic. I don't have any furniture going on right now. Another wooden riser. Um, these would be great for candles, of course, but also for greenery, putting some greenery on top. So I'll have to show you what I do with these. This one was $1.50. Super deal. Now these two little cuties that I'm getting ready to show you were bought back in probably the end of April. It was after Easter. I love going to thrift shops and Goodwills after holidays because it just seems to me that people will clean out their um, closets. I don't know. They just decide after the holidays that they're not going to use certain decorations anymore, so they donate them. I found this adorable, I don't know if you can see how cute he is. Now in the video, to me, he looks a little bit blue, but he's actually teal. and He's super, super cute. He's probably six inches tall, super cute. And, and drum roll, I found his cute cousin. So cute, same rabbit. Now this one, I don't know if you can tell, Video. has a crackle finish you see that adorable he's so cute these both were from oh well, I didn't get them from Hallmark these came from Goodwill but they are Hallmark items and adorable and I'm keeping them because I can they're so cute um now last lastly you know me you know that I didn't leave a thrift store this summer if I've been shopping all these times this summer that I didn't leave the thrift store without finding what? Pictures, that's right. I, I'm addicted to pictures. I found this super adorable little, I guess you could use it for cream. Super adorable. Look at that little ribbon at the top. Picture. And there is an imprint on the bottom. I don't know, maybe you can tell what it is. I can't, I don't know. It's nothing, it's nothing old, it's not anything old or, or valuable, but it's adorable and I love it. And it's gonna look cute in someone's kitchen or bathroom because it's gonna go in the shop. This one, I'm probably gonna have to keep it because it is gorgeous. How pretty is she? Oh, look at the details. So pretty, such an amazing shade of pink. Now, sometimes I'll get a picture just because I like the shape of it, but I don't really like the color, so I'll bring it home and I'll paint it. Uh, not this one. It is gorgeous. It is so pretty for spring or for summer. Gorgeous with flowers, and it's so pretty. And this, um, it says a perfect occasion, so it's not valuable either. It's probably, mm, probably top to bottom, maybe 10 inches tall so gorgeous. You can always find pictures at Goodwills and thrift shops. Always, always. Um, I think that's it. That um, kind of does it for the things that I've gotten recently. I think I have a few more things. I definitely I already seen one and it's a cutting board and I'll have to tell you about it later. I'm going to use it to create a new cutting board. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's haul. I'd love to know what you found most, um, I don't know, most appealing in the video, which item appealed to you the most? And what are you looking for? When you go thrifting, do you have a list that you kind of keep in your mind or do you have a list that you, you know, that you're always looking for? Um, I kind of change mine all the time. I'm always looking for pictures. I'm always looking for anything that I can make a riser out of um, because those are great. Always looking for mug holders. Um, but I'd love to know what you look for. What do you find? I know that um, I follow other folks on YouTube and they're constantly telling the things they find and the things they don't find. And it just seems to me that it's so unique how our Goodwills and thrift shops in the different regions um, vary so much. Um, I'm in Southeast North Carolina and that's kind of where I focus my thrifting. So I'd love to know what what you focus on when you go out thrifting. Tell me below in the comments. 
I can't wait to hear from you. And I've really enjoyed my time with you this afternoon. Um, I hope that you'll be back again in the Green Cottage Goods Workshop. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you'll know when the next video is posted. Thanks a lot for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.